There's no place to escape to. This is the last stream. On the left. <laughs> That's when the cannibalism started. My name is Marcus Parks. Bad for you, man. And we're talking about the stinky dinkies. Henry went and just did a two minute shit. It was really impressive right before the show. Actually, we're at 6.02, so it was a four minute shit. Well, hey, I say about three minutes, <laughs> if you can give or take. But Rob, That's not the difference. That's Rob, the difference. did you put the new toilet seat on that? I did. It looks great. We got a new toilet seat. We have former plumber, now producer, Rob Oakey. Got in there. He saved our dookie shits from being uncomfortably made. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's one of those toilet seats that you can't slam it. It slows down. I appreciate it. Oh, yep. I love a good slowy toilet. I hate the slam of a toilet seat. It makes me feel self-conscious. Sometimes, It though, scares me. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I like to slam a toilet seat and go, fuck you, piss. <laughs> um, welcome to last stream on the left. Emma Sorensen says it's for my first live stream tonight. Woo! Yeah, Woo! welcome to Stinky Dinkies. Hope your Stinky Dinkies are light today. A uh, snot ass bone daddy be kind. That'd sure. Be fine. Yeah, this is not even, you even said that your mandate's not that bad. No, no, no. I, I don't know why. It's just this month, the algorithm. I mean, I actually, I did think about getting into some uh, spider worms and I did think about getting some bloodletting. Dude. But you know, dude. I figured I don't have to conform to any sort of expectation. That's right. I'm just I'm giving you guys yes. what was given to me this month. I, and that's what, all and about where it. I was this month. I would have enjoyed spider worms. Yeah, I, well, don't worry. Dude. They'll come next time. <laughs> I mean, well, the spider worms were saved. Okay. It's not like they're gone. Right, they're coming right. next time. Well, for my next week, next week I'm doing my super serious UFO mandate. Oh, is that next week? Yes, and I have I'm busy, some we have, No, 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 no. You're locked in because <laughs> Are you doing that same thing that I'm doing? Yeah, yeah, yeah we're yeah. doing Yeah, that's No. That. No, 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 friends. Because plans. Government plans. No. <laughs> because government plans. Big government plans. Big government plans. Yeah. Yeah. We are going to have to prepare. We wow. have to prepare for contact in the desert. The end of May. We are going to be there. I am leading a panel with them on it. Yeah, I'll be sitting there and be like, what he says. We're yeah. going to be. We're not a lot of ridicule people, so it can only be truth. But I can ridicule you. No, because I am a speaker. At, I'm a speaker. I'm a speaker. I'm a speaker. And we're not allowed wow. to ridicule any speakers <laughs> Actually, at the fucking contact in the desert. I just conference. realized that is that contractually we cannot make fun you, of each other at all. You wow. can, we have oh. to take it seriously <laughs> and sincerely. Yeah, I'm sure it's going to work great for us being a comedy podcast. <laughs> I I can't wait to be thrown out of this thing. Yeah. Whatever. I'm very excited to be there, but we will listen and be open. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, but yeah, now this is Marcus. But this is Marcus's mandate. It's my mandate, and I got a question for you, Ed. So you're uh, you're about to get a car, right? I'm thinking about it. You're thinking about I'm getting thinking a car. About it. You're yeah, thinking about I, getting I don't a car. know. I found out that the bus comes straight here from my new place, and so I might not get a car. Just, he just like, loves the bus. I'm in Rosa Parks. Yeah, he is the Rosa Parks of fat white men. Yeah, you can scream at anyone on the bus. <laughs> And they just let you do it. No one steps in or there's nothing. Very little security on the bus. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that is true. But Eddie, have you thought about getting a thick bike? A thi no, I'm scared of bikes. No, mm. don't get on a bike in this neighborhood. No, yeah, I'm not do doing no, it. No, 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 Poos no, no, butt no. asked I'm me. I'm done or, with bikes. Um, Poos butt is asking uh, actually a fairly insensitive question, uh, which is also. Uh, it's fine, though, because you're allowed to. Uh, asking, are we drinking any boiled juice tonight? <laughs> did you see and that Henry is an idiot? I actually got it. Like no, no, I did not. I did not. They <laughs> got a, a <laughs> boiling is a part of making juice. And no, I it's actually, not. No, it's, it's not. a part of pasteurizing. It reaches it's a part of making degrees. juice. And I also received several emails being like, Boiling of point course, is not 195 degrees. It would make sense that you would boil many different fruits to make a type of juice. That that makes sense. No, that, but you, it's not what happens. That's how you make like mold wine. And that's what the people said. That's a juice. That's not what no, happened. It's not. That's it's a not fun a juice. ass juice. Mold wine. Wine is juice. I don't <laughs> care what anybody says. Wine is juice. It's just better juice. It just makes you fucking cry a lot. It makes you fucking yell about college. I had a question about and driving. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. If and I did get a car, I was thinking uh, an old uh, beat up thing. Sure, okay. H uh, Henry, you're a driver. Are you parking right? I've heard that's actually a sign of um, dementia. That you're not parking If you correct? don't park correctly. It's a sign of dementia. It's an early sign of dementia. All right. But I actually, I'm straight on the line. All right. Well, I put two dimes down. Yeah. And I try to hit them. We're going to watch this video. I'm going to bet neither one of you are parking correctly. Oh, whoa. This was a comedic prompt. 
I thought this was a genuine question. So you want to pay attention to where I'm at in the parking lot and where everybody else is. So it if you look work. over my right oh. shoulder, you'll see a pickup truck that's way back in the corner that makes no sense. So we do a walk by or a drive by, and yeah, we dog. see that it's a guy with his driver's door open that's yeah. sitting in his car walking his cat. Well, that's pretty interesting to me. I certainly don't want to park near that. <laughs> then I take a look at the front of the business and I see I almost get this. absolutely everybody's parked directly in front of the business. Of course. So let's take a look at the champagne colored car, the female that's got her kids that are with her. What's she going to do? She's going to park at the closest entrance that she can walk into the business. I get totally it. This. It's the exact this is right what I move. do. We have enough light. We have enough protection. We have enough people that are inside the building that if she needed assistance, yeah. she would easily be able to get it there. I've got, She's I was not going to want to park family. like an outlier. Now, if we <laughs> come this distance over here, we'll see, see a red dangerous. car that's behind me, and the red car is occupied. Yep. So the red car that's directly over my left shoulder is occupied with the person that's pulled in nose first by this ditch that's down below me. Cool. Well, yeah. That's interesting to me, too. Of course. What are they up to? What, I don't know. What's going on with that person? I don't know. So every time I decide Can't to park, I'm going to do a cost-benefit analysis. Is there anybody in the parking yeah. lot that would do me harm? This is not Almost wrong. nobody's trying to hurt you or kill you. Almost nobody's trying to rob you. Almost. But why would I want to push the envelope if I can park somewhere safe? Don't push the envelope. Because I, honestly, I completely understand this. You got to check your fucking six everywhere you go. I actually have He's been parking correctly. He's the most dangerous man in the parking lot. I have <laughs> already. I, I'm already parking. If this is the litmus, I already do this. He's filming people and to bother. He's filming people he without didn't bother anyone. and talking about he them. He researched them from afar. He yeah. didn't bother them. I see does, why does Jane, parking there. Does fucking Jane Goodall get shit for standing off to the side watching the monkeys? Also, the guy Jesus. who's walking his cat seems responsible. He went to an empty space away from everybody else. If you're going to walk your cat, you do it away from people. Straight up, number one, big divorced energy. That's a divorced man. He's mm. walking oh, his cat yeah. because he can't be inside with the cat anymore oh, you're in saying his the family cat home. Guy's I was thought, yeah. that guy who we just watched talk about. No, that oh, that's guy, divorced guy. Oh, that no. guy's yeah. never even thought about marriage. He's independent <laughs> because he knows the liability. It slows you down. He got there. He Understood. Yeah. First of all, super suspicious mm -hmm. when a fucking p a car is parked alone all the way at the end of the fucking parking lot. Because guess what they're doing in there? Smoking doobies. Yep. That's not nothing wrong with that. It, no, it depends on the state. Yeah. It doesn't matter what state you're in. There's nothing wrong with it. Except if you're gonna drive after smoking doobies. Oh shut up. Yeah, you fucking <laughs> asshole. Got you. Oh, you're a bad on. parker. Like, I just got you. You can't walk. Fucking smoked weed and drove. <laughs> never once in a th ever in a thousand years. This is lying face, by the way, everybody. So you know, whenever you see that, is full of fucking shit. No, I'm not. I'm not lying. No, no. Cost benefit analysis. Dude's this by man, the ditch. He's looking cost benefit analysis. Every single. That's how he looks at everything. It's risk assessment. Awesome. That woman with the family knew that if this family was going to get raped on mass by one or a group of men they could do it in front of the security camps of the target so that, that the police Burlington, can come Burlington and get Coke the evidence factories. after the fact what burlington, burlington. coat factory same but the thing is that they can get the evidence like the and then yeah I'll throat factory that guy's sitting in his car just getting it man. yeah honestly i saw one person but, but that's what the guy who wants to do something to the family is thinking Hmm. Yeah, I think that he's right. If a guy's parking by a ditch for no reason, no, what's your the, fucking the shit? The ditch is next to the parking spot. He the was plenty. The parking lot is by the ditch. You notice that middle he section didn't... had plenty of parking available, and there was actually extremely <laughs> premium like parking park at the away. front. Me too, because I get my steps I in. Don't park. <laughs> he doesn't drive. I don't drive. He's drive. Well, uh, I, do I do like it far. But also, I like parking far away because I legitimately get a full gander of the entire parking lot. Wow. God, so you relate to this man. I like that. I, I figured you. I thought you would either really relate to him and know exactly what he was talking about, or be incredibly infuriated by his energy. Only if he was wrong. And he's been. You consider you him to be right. right. Yeah, in terms of parking locations, he's correct. <laughs> in terms of being like, suspicious parking Stay locations, out of people's business. No, it's called just investigating. To get a cop. Everywhere I go is an investigation. <laughs> Martha oh. Sparks, Marcus. Parks, 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 oh. parks. You know what's funny is that the word when I see the word parks, it doesn't register to me at all as that's my name. Well, I don't. I mean, it's a regular used word. It's a very commonly used word. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, because it's both a verb, it's a series of nouns, yeah, and it's your last name. Mm-hmm. Well, if, uh, None of that helps you from being robbed or sexually assaulted in a parking lot of a Kroger's. Nor does it protect me from a man walking his cat. No, because that guy actually, I don't trust him either. Why? Because it's weird. 
Well, if you're you can walk walking a cat. cat is weird. It's a but divorced he chose energy. It's a good place to do it. No, it's not divorced energy. A parking it's lot a is literally the worst man place. Who loves a cat? The literally That's the worst place to walk a cat is a parking lot. <laughs> not in the parking that lot. That is the literal. The that is literally the, the worst grass. place to walk a cat oh because God. it's an extremely unpredictable sometimes. environment. <laughs> Am I wrong? <laughs> you are wrong. No, I don't think he I am. He wasn't walking around the asphalt. But he was in the grass. A cat can't properly be trained to walk. It's a zigzagging animal, and you're in the middle of an extreme. Erratic it's not environment. in the middle of the parking lot. It's a liminal space. Us. Oh my he god. He was in the corner. You knew this was going to happen. <laughs> you fucking knew this was going to happen. <laughs> uh, right, okay, well, then I'll play a video that we can all agree on. Great. We can all agree on this next video. Oh, thank we you. can all agree beware the blooper. <laughs> I hate, yeah, bloopers are for vulnerability. Blooper, did you dig a <laughs> hole under the backyard fence again? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hate his big, his like weird sagging belly. Yeah. <laughs> Get a big costume blooper. Oh. 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 I hate this. <laughs> so out of shape, so he can extend his arms. Oh, no, no, he's got sticks. You can see that those are sticks. <laughs> I do like Clark singing. Oh, look at his dick. It looks oh, like his package God. is hanging out. <laughs> <laughs> you know what it is, too? It's like, I. We don't need the completely realistic dog face. <laughs> no. I don't think you need the completely realistic dog face. You don't need the realistically long legs that where all the legs yeah, match. Just stand on two legs. You're a guy in a suit. Yeah, yeah. Just stand on two legs. You're yeah, not or, a dog. Yeah, you don't have. Or just walk around and do like kind of crouch under. But maybe that pointed his butt too much in the air and it was unchristian. Yeah, feel like Christian mm. thing. Yeah, because it was all about uh, singing praise to the Lord. That's what yeah. you didn't get. Because blooper is very distracting. It's very and distracting. It's sort of blooper, sort of um, <laughs> blooper. The every the message gets lost in blooper. I feel like I feel like blooper is affecting the gospel. Because yeah. it's getting between God and the gospel. <laughs> it's blooper. Man. It's a man in a stinky half dog suit. I would love that it if it one of the be kids here. found a pile of shit and just hit him in the nose with a newspaper. Bad blooper. <laughs> Bad blooper. Man, I saw a big old pile of human dookie yesterday. Dude. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, big old one. Hmm. And right. I didn't do it. Courtney Love Child. Oh, Dr. Gasling, can I pet that dog? Can't pet that dog. Can't pet that dog. Oh, it's Lazy Can't pet that dog. No, you cannot pet. Blooper. No, don't you can't touch it. Blooper. Yeah. Don't approach no. Blooper. You can undress Blooper and have <laughs> consensual <laughs> sex with Blooper. It's <laughs> <laughs> like Blooper. It's just I guess the idea of the grown man behind the mask, yeah. and you pull it back, and you see his. Paul Rubens esque long hair and goatees. He's just oh, like because yeah, no. that was the thing. He's definitely kidding to work on a motorcycle. Because <laughs> that was the worst crime that Paul Rubens did, I think, in the end. What his personal uh, hy his personal hygiene and style? Doing that specifically to be extra gross. Mm. You know what I mean? Because yeah. I feel like he was doing that all as a massive ritual to destroy Pee Wee. Mm. He already said that he was trying to destroy Pee Wee. Yeah, yeah, but, but he, then he, he came back. It was great. Yeah. Yeah, he never really came back full strength. Yeah. Okay. I like the new Pee Wee movie. But it was, it was good. It. it was good. I saw him live right before right before COVID hit. Oh yeah. We saw him live. Yeah. Oh, it was that's great. Nice. That's I bet great. so. Yeah, it was good. You know who else is great? People who love nature. Yeah. They're fine. Yeah. I love you, nature. I'm Anders Brevik. <laughs> Timothy McVeigh. <laughs> Um, the, the, you know, being alone, loved the nature. Adolf loved Hitler it. loved nature. Unabomber loved nature. I'll give you that. He, Ted Kaczynski loved nature. Henry L Lee Lucas saw so much of this country, <laughs> driving around, just peering around, looking Zodiac. at trees. Zodiac was always in parks. Yeah, yeah, yeah he was. He always was. I love nature, and this lady loves nature. No. Oh my God, Marcus! I was gonna send this to you. I swear to God, I saw this and I was like, Marcus needs this. It's safe. I'll show you later. Oh my God! <laughs> That's not her real face, though, right? I'm pretty. I don't know, man. That is her real face. You can see the musculature, yeah. Yeah, it's definitely her real face. 
It looks like she's wearing a mask. Is there any more context to the, any context to that? None. I no. couldn't find any. No, no, like, where did you find I, that? I, it, it, got, just, it suggested to me as well. I yeah. think it's gonna be just sit next to each other too much. Yeah. yeah. Literally, <laughs> phones are listening. Yeah. yeah, yeah phones are listening. Like, oh, they're friends. They must like the same weird ladies eating fur trees. You know, Not I'm trying eating, to unite. Licking. I'm trying to unite all of our algorithms. Yeah. You. I know. Me, Jackie's. I've been changing and setting stuff right now. Yeah, it's a, it's a me, Mario says that woman looks like a Muppet. Yeah, she is a Muppet Once you right. start clicking on that stuff on Instagram, that's how you get social media working for you. Because the stuff I have found, I am in a new, I can't believe how I've changed my phone. I'm so happy how I've changed my phone. Yeah. It's not just gilfs anymore. It's it, But now I got like a lot of guys with big heads. I got a lot of fucking yeah. weirdo people. Like I got a lot of people screaming. Screaming about Jesus and stuff. I was like, finally. Yeah, I don't want. I was like trying that. to find this this yeah. vein, and, and just now it's here. No, it's all dogs and fishing. Yeah, no, our uh, algorithms merged. Where uh, now my algorithm turned into people with uh, facial deformities playing instruments. It's awesome. So it just it just merged the two. Like it's mine was all music. World. His is all deformities. Came together, but mine also found. I started of getting into a place where mine were just. It, it's not now. It's a new category. Do you know that there's a whole thing with facial deformities and cooking? Well, I think everyone's got to eat. I'm gonna say I gotta wait till my stream. Huh. I gotta wait till my mandate because there's this one guy I love. He's just like he's he's just looking a little rough. He kind of he kind of seems to live in a, sort of like a cave. Yeah, and he cooks on up like what seems to be an open petroleum fire. Like there's like it seems there's fumes. There's like kind of like fumes coming off of it. And he's eating nothing but onions. <laughs> and the, this guy, whatever country he's in, he's having a blast. And it's like I actually really I love that. Yeah. I really really love that. I like because again they look happy. Yeah. yeah. No, of That's what I like about what they do with the kind of with that sort of like, is facial deformity the word? Yeah. Are we not allowed to use that? I think facial, to say that I don't anymore? think there's yeah, any other no. way to say facial deformity than yeah, facial deformity. Yeah, being very mean. What is know? the what's a fun way to say, elephantitis? That's it. That's, <gasps> that's nuts. That's he's got Elef head to share. <laughs> <laughs> oh, somebody's making head for three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. I feel like anything I say is going to really piss someone off. It's so. too late. Yeah. yeah. It's too late. I'm already taking this on. Yeah, okay. I'm taking this on for then us. Say potato head. <laughs> 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 uh, I got something, you guys. This next one. Just, just run this one down the pipe. It needs no introduction. Good. <laughs> Let's do it. Let's do it one more time. That's a good short Let's do it one more time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> God, I love the internet, man. Uh, yeah, yeah, oh, man. Yeah, there's yeah. so many. Anytime someone matches a fart to a melody, I'm happy. Oh, man. One of my favorite things I ever saw was uh, I was in a bathroom once, and it said, uh, what's that Meatloaf song? Uh, I'll do anything for love, but I won't do that? No. This, uh, Two out of three ain't bad. What's the one about the heart? Um, the heart is a lonely hunter. Nope. Oh, uh, like a, back, like a bat, heart, bat out of hell. My oh. heart is a heart. That's um, a heart you know shaped heart. You did this. I did this. Which yeah. one? <laughs> it was like, you know, it was something of the fart. Uh, it was like, you know, it was emotions of the fart. I don't know. I Total eclipse, eclipse of the fart. Total eclipse, total eclipse of the fart. That's Bonnie yeah, Taylor. Yeah. <laughs> That's Bonnie Taylor. Bonnie Taylor? Yeah. yeah. I thought of meatloaf. <laughs> She's the woman equivalent of meatloaf. <laughs> I was falling in love, but now I'm only falling apart. And nothing I can do. A total eclipse of the fart. Fart. You say that's what makes it a toilet say, parody. Toilet parody. I appreciate you guys helping me out. Yeah. I'm so, honestly, I feel like there's a lot of words. People say the word satire quite a bit on the internet now. And I feel like we're a part of that. Mm -hmm. Are you talking about satire? We're part, of, we're part of the satire community. And I think there's a lot of people that say uh, things are satire when they thought it was going to not be satire, but then people are laughing at it. Mm -hmm. And then they end up doing that. Yeah, like uh, The Room. Yes, but then Tommy Wiseau now thinks he's a genius comedian. Yes. I was thinking of the Brie Larson film, Room. Which is oh, much different. That's a very different movie. No, right. yeah, 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 yeah. That movie, just as funny, but not as iconic. Popular. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Yeah, Room was hilarious. <laughs> so, Henry, have you been using pan flutes much lately? Like uh, my personal life? We did it the other day. Yeah, yeah. cake flutes. Um, honestly. <laughs> fucking fanny. <laughs> I don't even eat pancakes, and I'm, in a, I'm on a thin week. Yeah. Are you? This is a thin week. A thin week, like in like spirit, eating thin. 
Oh, you're eating thin this I week. I eat thin this week. You had a purple passion smoothie earlier. Wow. Yeah. I'm just perfect. Sue me. <laughs> <laughs> what was I going to say? <laughs> Pan flutes. Pan oh, flutes. yeah, yeah. I... No. No. I went and I did... Uh, I haven't been yelling. I'm medicated. You're medicated? Okay. I'm kind All of right. like, you know, I'm in my lane. I have two therapists and a psychiatrist. I'm really dialing it in there. I got some mindfulness going. I'm back to lifting weights. Um, I took a fucking huge shit. Just now. Yeah, like 20 minutes ago. Honestly, it's like three times today. So. Three times. Wow. That's good. But I, that's when I'm happy because the acidophilus is working. You got me eating the yogurt. No. Yeah. Is it acidophilus? Acidophilus. I've never yogurt. been there. <laughs> the, uh... <laughs> so, Henry, what I got for you, uh, you can get rid of all that stuff. Whoa. You can get rid of everything. The whole team? For the price of one CD cassette called Pure Moods. Oh, Pure Moods! Pure Moods! Oh yeah, I always remember that as commercial. Oh yeah, this takes me back. There's a couple of surprising inclusions here. For your way of life. Dude, I, I lived off this commercial. This yeah. Collection has yeah, I love won this the commercial. Hearts of millions. Mm -hmm. Set a drift with, with the me. timeless pleasures of two beer bells. Whoa, but listen for this one. Or take a trip into the unknown with the X Files. What? <laughs> no other. That was all on one disc. Yeah. Can we get that disc? <laughs> Have you not to heard of Pure Moods? I've never listened to, listen to the album. Or send check or money order for the amount shown plus shipping and handling. Rush delivery available. Call now. Okay. You hear yeah, the, Twin dun, right, dun, at the end. right at the very end. Well, I guess the Angelo Badalamente, he's a perfect good example of like kind of an pretty good example. <laughs> Michael Bad <laughs> Angelo Badalamente, he's good at making atmospheric music, but Pure Moods, I've, I've actually never thought, for some reason, I thought Pure Moods was its own band. What? <laughs> I thought it was a band. No. There was one band that was doing Sail Away, Sail Away. I know, I know, no, it's Enya. Yeah, I know Enya yeah. does that. But for a while, I just thought Pure Moods was just like a, an amalgamation of fucking stuff that they No, had. Pure I, Moods, Pure Moods is a compilation. Pure, pure Moods. Pure Moods. It's a compilation. Yeah. Pure Moods is a compilation. Yeah. <laughs> they used to sell it a sharper image. Oh, yeah, I remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cheese A Lady Acidophilus is my favorite Jellicle cat. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> That's the one oh, yeah, that yeah, sucks. God, I miss indiscriminate. <laughs> it just I <laughs> love the it. old sound. <laughs> All the sound. How'd that go, Gurney? I miss back in the day when you could just put a bunch of like Irish people in a room and say, "Be Native American." <laughs> Yeah, go make a bunch of noises. <laughs> you, know, uh, you ever seen Dances with Wolves? Do the white part. <laughs> right? Is that weird? Why were we allowed to do that for so long? Mm. What? You remember the guy with the electric plant, the, the electric pan flute guy in New York all the time? Oh, he was, was great. Was, he was Peruvian. He was Peruvian. He was oh, saying, yeah. yeah. Oh, that dude was hundred percent. The Essex yeah. Street guy. Yeah, the Essex. He was yeah. all he in a, he went between Essex Street and uh, the Twenty Third Street F. What? Always the F train, though. Yes. yes. No, what, he had heart, man. What is the denomination racially for the pan flute? Peruvian. Peruvian. It comes from Peru? Yeah, it comes yeah, from man. Peru. Really? Yeah, the pan flute is, on, is a, that's a Peruvian thing. You didn't know that? Only Peru? <laughs> Not only Peru. Obviously, we saw them in New York. Yeah, and I think uh, they probably had some in Greece. Well, now you're boiling with juice. <laughs> You know what? Pan flute instruments in ancient Greece. Okay. Fuck yeah, dude. Ancient Greece, that's what I got on my kitchen stove. South America pan the flutes. Most popular, popular, popular during the Inca Empire. Yes, yeah, so I'm just earlier. saying pan flutes, I think, have been across the board. Pan flute's one of those like collective unconsciousness. Instruments. Everybody loves a fucking tube. Ev everyone at some point like just put a bunch of concurrently smaller tubes next to each other and went. 
I think at some point, a bunch of guys were in the street <laughs> laying down, and they were all hard. <laughs> and someone came and noticed that if you blew into their penises, they would go, they'd go, oh, 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 they would make noises. And that was the original. Oh, the, the penises <laughs> weren't the blues. They were the noises yeah, they, they made. Yeah, the noises, <laughs> the, 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 the coming noises yeah. <laughs> that they made. <laughs> <laughs> ah, long, yeah. long week. After that, yeah, and it's <laughs> Tuesday, my friend. Mm. You it's know, Tuesday, after, buddy. Yeah, you know, after that, twenty-five cent wing night at B Dubs. That's nice. You know, after <laughs> this week, you know what I need? I need a good cry. Oh God! Oh. I need a good cry. Are we gonna do this thing? Yeah. I watched that video the other day of the ki- the kid with cancer, and Florence of the Machine came in and did an acoustic version of the fucking dogs' days are over or whatever, and yeah. they're all crying and shit. But then, like even afterwards, I'm sad too. But then afterwards, I was like, I still don't really like Florence of the Machine, but it was nice. Turns no. out the machine was an EKG meter. <laughs> 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 I hate this song. So I don't have to finish? (laughs) 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 No. We don't need Florence and the Machine. We don't need people to bring it to us. We can have it on demand through good old fashioned capitalism. Fuck yeah. I can pay to have a good cry with one easy nine hundred number. What? What makes people all over America break down and cry like this? Call 1-900-9099-CRY and hear it for yourself. $2 for the first minute, 45 cents each additional minute. If you're under 18, ask your parents before you call. 1-900-9099-CRY. Yeah, you, so so as you, as you call you that... Me, it's worth every cent. I don't understand. So you call that to be made... To cry? It's unclear. Can you yeah. play the commercial again? No sound. <laughs> play the commercial again. No sound. No sound. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you play no sound in the video, yeah. yeah. What? Oh my god, my my hairdresser says I look like shit. <laughs> <laughs> You're fired, Gerald. <laughs> You're ugly, Miranda. Yeah, ugly bitch. You look like Richard Ramirez. (laughs) Stocks down, buddy. Yeah, nice red shirt, you dumb bitch. Your son's never coming home. Yeah! (laughs) You're going to hell. <laughs> I tend to do. I'm gonna do that alone at home. I'm gonna do videos. <laughs> ah, ah, fuck, fuck you, <laughs> fuck you, and everything you believe You're in. You're ugly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That really is like the most manipulating thing I think I've ever seen. Yeah, yeah. it's like two fifty for three minutes of crying. Also, yeah. how incredible! Like, especially this time period. You're in a fight with your girlfriend or something, and then if she starts going, you just go. Here's. Call this number. Yeah. You know, like, like <laughs> you're gonna want to call that. But you're gonna want to keep that. Yeah, I mean, maybe they like they, you call up and you're like, hey, so um, what do you want to cry about? So how you do feeling? You want, do, you, do you really want? Do you need to cry about something? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why don't you just let it all out? Just let it all out. Just, yeah, just, fuck yeah. Just let me. Yeah, keep crying. Just let me have it. Oh yeah, just fuck let yeah. Me have it. Bring it. Bring keep it, crying. You sad. Bring it here. You sad fucking <laughs> sexy <here>. bitch. Yeah. <laughs> You sad, sexy woman. Yeah. Fucking give it to me. Yeah. Oh, fuck. I love yeah. it when you're crying. Yeah. Yeah, oh, hell. Oh. Yeah. Let's keep it. Yeah. 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 Come on. Come on. I know yeah. You can, yeah. you can cry harder. You can cry harder than that. You can cry harder. Come on, go. Yeah. I'm a fucking yeah. shit. Yeah. Yeah, my partner's going to shoot. Oh. Make do it. Make All right, quit crying. You're going to want to bone up. Yeah. Life's hard. <laughs> <laughs> Click. That was what? How much is Patreon? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's nine thirty. It's time for cat hot dog. Whoa! Yeah. <laughs> 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 Don't get punched again. <laughs> <laughs> Looks more real 
sick than blooper, by the way. <laughs> 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 and that's the rest of the show, folks. <laughs> Feels like car me with food on the table. <laughs> I'm gonna get it. <laughs> How long is this? <laughs> oh my god. I really am enjoying the prison art program. Yeah, 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 yeah it's good. <laughs> Because they think it's because he touched the he touched the hot dog. Yeah, and he shouldn't touch it again. Yeah, yeah, he can't touch the hot dog again because they're gonna. I think they're gonna attack him. <sighs> wow. <laughs> what? This is like three minutes long. I'm very. Impressed. Shayla Ho- Hoyden, this is edging. So this, is, this is what edging is. I saw it on the internet. <laughs> I mean, really? <laughs> I mean, if you want. I, I need to know! I can tell you the secret. No. Oh <laughs> the secret, it's the, the same. It's the same 10 second clip. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> no, yeah, that's not a secret. No, no, no. We know this now. Now it's just how long does this sequence last? Well, I, um. I put a time limit on it. Okay. No worries. Maggot Mommy says I'm too high for this. <laughs> <laughs> but this is fine. This is exactly just know that this is what your life is. This is what life is. I do feel nauseous. Yeah. What's nice to know is I grow a numb to anxiety eventually. Oh no, this doesn't give me anxiety anyway whatsoever. No, this oh is fun God. to do. I would love to just fucking put this on for hours in a room full of acid heads. <laughs> Man, do you remember really I torturing friends on psychedelics? Oh, it's been a minute. Yeah. Now I think it's viewed as unethical. Alright. And <laughs> <Damn. What's gonna laughs> Oh yeah. Alright. <laughs> Okay, he can do it. He's just gonna do it. it. He's not gonna touch it. <laughs> he's not gonna get anywhere. I don't think he's gonna get it. I don't he's, think he's, gonna, he's not gonna touch no, he's it. He's not gonna touch it. No, no one will ever be satisfied. No, no none of you are gonna want gonna this. It. This is gonna, gonna this is gonna end in the feeling that some of you are gonna have. It's gonna make you not want to watch the show. He's just never. It's, is he gonna touch it? Maybe he might. I don't think he will though. I don't think. I don't think it's gonna happen. I don't think it's gonna happen. Oh my god. Four minutes. I think the goose is gonna. He's staring at me. This is MK Ultra at home. What's right back? What is the goose gonna do? Like is the goose? I mean, oh, he turns. He turns. He turns. He turns left. He turns right. Why does he have a black? He's, he goes, he's, ah, that that was was one twelfth of the show. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually. This better keep going. This has to keep going. All right, oh. five minutes. Wow, that was a full five minutes of that. <laughs> Wow! You I know, can't believe we made it the whole way. Dr. Gasoline says the music implies that he might touch it. You're right. <laughs> Thank you. You're right. It does, and it does imply that that might happen. What's incredible about that music is that it sounds like each time the loop goes, it sounds like it keeps getting higher it's, and higher. It, it's but some it's some kind not. of effect. Yeah. That's yeah. like that is some kind of audio effect mm-hmm. because it's not because it just starts back up again at the end of the cycle. Yeah. In the real video, does he ever touch it? No. No, that's it. it. Seriously, is just that loop that goes for five minutes. No, I mean you, you can watch it for all eternity if you want. All right. Well, as long as your phone survives. God. So, Unless I die. I guess you could say you could probably watch that ten years. It's incredible. You know, hey, in solitary confinement. You just got to think about your spank bank for yeah. fucking their whole life. Bum, bum. That would be bum, a bum. good Guantanamo bum, bum. trick. 
Bum bum. Yeah. Bum bum. Maybe like Will bum, he bum. touch it? Yeah, yeah. All bum, the guys, bum. all the guys from Al Qaeda. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us the cat touches the hot dog. It's universal. You don't need to know a language. That's annoying for everyone on Earth. The <laughs> tension is unbearable. This reminds me of September 10th. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, there wasn't a lot of payoff on that one, so let me give you something really satisfying. It's just immediate gratification. Oh, great! Great. <laughs> I need help! I need help! Uh, I need that one again. Yeah, let's see it again. Oh, oh my god. I need help! <laughs> he's fine. He just fell. He didn't he's even fine. fall off the chair. No, he didn't. And he's British, so he he was actually saying "fucking hell, fucking hell." Yeah, yeah. he did not. He did not ask for help at all. No, I don't even know what he was planning on doing. I think that he was trying to do something to the theme of that song, right? Yeah, the it was. Or was the, that piped in over? I think it was. It was piped, piped in, in later, over. Yeah. So I don't know if he was planning on playing like a solo over. I can see God it. God knows. In the air That's tonight. my favorite. Peter Gabriel's not Peter Gabriel. That's my favorite Phil Collins. Phil Collins. Yeah. And that ma- kind of makes me. Phil Collins' favorite Phil Collins. It, ma- song. it makes me miss uh, gr- the Greenpoint Phil Collins guy. That guy who used to drive around Greenpoint all the time. Uh, Su- 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 oh, yeah. No, he would blast uh, in the air tonight at like full volume. I, mean, I lived in Greenpoint for five years. Every four or five days. That's awesome. I like be around guy. like seven eight o'clock at I night. I get that. He's and you just drive around. Yeah. yeah. I listen to one song for about a year. Yeah. At a time, that's kind of what I do. It's like I'll listen to a bunch of new music as I go, and then I'll have one song that I play really, really loud for an entire year. Yeah, yeah. yeah. sometimes they he, just hit you. He did it for five or six years. That's awesome. It was just constant. Just and every time everyone saw him, like be like, "Yeah, Phil Collins guy." I think as you hear him from it? your apartment, he was on um, John Wilson. Had him on uh, How to with John Wilson. No shit. Have you seen that show? Yeah, it's incredible. It's supposed to be very good. It is. I saw the whole thing. It's possibly the best. uh, Like I depiction in New York I've ever seen. It is easily the best depiction in New York I've ever seen. That's what it's like to live in New York City. Is How to with John Wilson. But he has he has that guy on the show. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Jerry Chi says that Phil Collins guy was also in Williamsburg. Yeah, he started over on Williamsburg, but he stayed on the cut. You know, on the uh, like lower water. He'd go up to Mm -hmm. what's what's soon. Yeah, down Kent. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, geography. Brooklyn geography. Let me tell you all the different ways I took trains around <laughs> New York City. I, do like I took the J train when I lived there, <laughs> and then I took the F train. From the J train up to work on 34th Street. Where did you transfer? Uh, Essex? Yeah! <laughs> I like Delancey. It was a welcoming station. Delancey is another name for Essex. It really is. So you're wrong. This next video, I boil my juice. <laughs> hey, Go ahead. You, know, you it, get you your know, family sick. <laughs> <laughs> you've been you've been real fond about talking about boiling juice. Woo! Have you ever thought about eating books? Man, I wish I could. Cause if I did, cause knowledge is taste. Guess what? You can. Whoa! Yeah! Yeah! Books and food. Eat this book. My new collection of recipes that you prepare and cook on a page from the book. It's oh. dinner made easy. Why oh. oh. don't you out a page and put the ingredients right on the pictures? It's that easy. And shrimp's already cooked. And bake for a delicious meal every time. Oh, God damn. The parchment uh, paper pages are I don't think that's Italian shrimp. This is the saddest no thing. It's the most break. broken, broken the man Here's thing I've ever seen. Recipe. Add some asparagus. Me and James were talking about it. We thought it was a pretty good idea. Yeah, I know. <laughs> of course. <laughs> this is yeah, this is dump cake lady. <laughs> It's not going to look like that. I want to go to Grandma's so house again. She cooks with then books. Fill the spaces with frozen oh, this is not a good yeah, idea. You want yeah. some ham and then chicken. You don't want to cook chicken. chicken. You want to put some sauce <laughs> down there. Make sure you put that cream. Oh, right yeah. Out of the can. Nice and white. Measure it. Fill the pictures and your recipes will turn out perfect. Wow, look at that. Really See? Is cooking by numbers? Yes. No. Yeah. And don't forget dessert. It is Watch. cooking for it's actual medical <laughs> idiots. <laughs> like if you if, if you were <laughs> told by a medicinal <laughs> lore, <laughs> yeah, you are, <laughs> that you cannot think <laughs> this is what you do. With 50 pages of recipes for 14 Yeah, Shyla Holden says, well, this is gross but clever, and yeah. I'm sure the ink of the pages probably gave people cancer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there is no, literally no the, way. Uh, no, it's parchment paper. Yeah. People, but, you can, there's ink all over it. I don't know if they used ink. Maybe they used edible ink. I 
mean, edible <laughs> ape. What is that? It's called food. It That's called sauce. How many books did you re- can you really eat? That's you know? the thing. So, yeah. If you just eat one book, you're not going to get cancer. Well, you're not eating them. Also, that's why I'm kind of angry. You're not eating the book. It's you're throwing cook. the book in the trash. It's cooking with the book. It's wasting. Waste this book. Yeah. No, you're, 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 you're. That's the thing. It's a brilliant business because you got to buy more books. But why would you, you only, just? You can only make it once, and then you got to buy another book. Just understand that every single time you wrap something in a piece of paper, but like that. The reason why you wrap it like that normally in a fancy cooking way is that you're supposed to steam what's inside of it. So anything that you plan to roast that you put inside of that paper, if anything else is within it has any water content, the whole thing is literally going to boil into a mush. Like, it is not going to be good. I'm not going to be good food. I mean, to me, it looked like it worked perfectly. It's a lie. (laughs) What that woman did was a lie. Her whole life's a lie. Her son won't talk to her. Her other son committed suicide. No one wants to have anything to do with this woman. She's probably a January 6th, or her ashes were. (laughs) (laughs) Yes, Dr. Gasoline says, this is recently divorced foster parent shit. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just like, because I also understand, no one knows how to, like, Natalie loves HelloFresh. Last pod. Was it last pod 90? Ah. Last pod where you get the free breakfast? I don't know. We have a code for it. For HelloFresh? Yes. I never heard it. Go listen to the podcast. It's on the fucking podcast. It's on the show. But, But... Hello, hello, fresh. Natalie likes it because it because she's never really cooked before. Mm. I learned watching me mom. Yeah. Ice down in between her knees. And she's a making a sauce, and I'm playing with the knees, and, and I look up, I see a bigger bush, and I go, oh, mama, you got a wig out of here, right? And she's like, no, you pay attention to the sauce. And so that's what I had. Yeah. And my Natalie didn't have that. Mm-hmm. She was raised by a pack of cigarettes and a, and a train tractor man. Right? <laughs> she didn't do it. She, cause so she likes watching. The, she likes wa- having HelloFresh because it tells her how to cook. A uh, code left. Code left. HelloFresh code left. No. That's nice. To not be left by your significant other. Mm-hmm. Learn to cook. I'm cooking steaks tonight. Are you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'm a cast iron, I do a cast iron skillet. I'm a cast iron skillet guy. Oh, I'm eating HelloFresh nice. tonight because it's what I have there. Mm. I got nothing at all. You broke? No, I'm not broke. I just I'm trying to get thin. Yeah. No, I just I I need to order it. It's been mm. it's been a tiring time. Let me ask you, how does this next one make you feel? Okay. I just want to know. I just want you to know. I just want to know. How Are we makes, doing what makes what you like least? Or no? This I just want to know. This one, like we're not doing which one of these do you like least this we, we, this month? Just because I want to take a break from it. I understand. Um, yeah. So this is just one video that's just asking you how does this video make you feel mm-hmm. okay okay cool a perfect society each one of its place mm. each person fitting a role each life fulfilled each second perfectly planned Better, happier, more productive. <laughs> the a beauty pig in a cage of organization on antibiotics. How much I love joining together with my fellow man to go to work. It was like a Daft Punk video. There she goes, off to work again. Is this, yeah, this is directed by Michelle Gondry. <laughs> there he is, like. digging his hole, fulfilling life every day, driving his car around the birds. I'm impressed by they're never hitting anyone. It's AI. 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 <laughs> so, Henry, how did that video make you feel? You know, calmed. Nice. Calmed. I look at that and I imagine a world where we are all like the perfect, like in my mind, if we did find a proper company that could do a real good like head computer that we all could be so combined in such a way that we would move seamlessly as a society Hmm. like a matrix no like real life but powered by corporations everyone's Mm. favorite nice nice how about you ed i mean you know i wish i had a gun you know (laughs) 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 so many people they're all like looking the same so it's not like they're real no 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 it's ai hugh jass says i just assume this is how all of north korea is at all times yeah it's actually empty 
Yeah. And then the, it's the mostly the farmlands are filled with the starving people that have to consume each other. Mm -hmm. I wish the music was better. I feel like oh, I would have yeah. liked it if the song was cool. Why you know, aren't computers more funky? Why can't the computer, like, yeah, obviously. You can make a, a computer funky. It's a lot of Herman Hesse yeah, style, shit. like, AI ver visions of the future. Everyone says that it, the computers will always be, like, you know, sleek, Apple style, like, you know, like a lot of, like, clear glass and stainless steel. But who's to say that fucking they won't get a funky? They could can get imagine funky. Imagine fucking a base filled fucking AI universe that was just a lot of, like, bit about, bow. Girls with I mean, fucking no bras now, on. Now that you gave it to it. Guys, yeah. guys with fucking no yeah. shirts on. Everybody's dancing around, man. Sarah's saying, I'm AI. Did I not prove I'm not? Yeah, no, he had a whole thing. Don't make him get the stick. He had to do, th he did a whole thing? Yeah, do you remember when he uh, when he sang the, the Frank Sinatra song and then beat I up everything? I proved I'm not AI. I remembered that. Yeah. Yeah, now I, I do remember that. Yeah, so Henry's not a. I have blood, come, shit, sweat. What else? Come, <laughs> blood. blood. Come. <laughs> so don't you worry about that. If you prick me, do I not come? <laughs> I do. Juice is AI. Juice is AI. <laughs> Correct. Got boiled that juice to get 5G out of the fucking juice. As we all know, they're putting 5G into the tomatoes. You gotta make sure get that 5G out of there. Get it down to 1G. For God. So how did were people scared of 4G? No. No, just 5G. Just 5G. See, 5G is the long-awaited G. Yeah. The fifth G is a thing that they've been talking about for a long time. Yeah. Do you think that they haven't come out with 6G because so many people are upset about 5G? I think that 6G sounds stupid. Yeah, I think 6G. Yeah, that it sounds like you're still new some iPhones. sort of cheese. We need to move Gs. on to 1H. Yeah. 1H. 1H would be fun. They, yeah. I don't think anyone would have anything to do with 1H. Then but we get up to 4H, and then the internet turns into animals. Yeah. Then that'd be go. great, and then we and then we would solve all. Everything would be solved. Yeah. Because it'd be 4H. Yep. Big Herb says we do need the Butlerian Jihad. You know, I'm not saying we don't. I don't know what that means. I, I'm trying to parse it. It's Dune. Oh. oh. That's what it is. Okay. okay. It yeah. is the revolution that we had against the thinking machines in our pre-life. Uh, before you don't, you we don't came. live in Dune. <laughs> you stop there's saying no, we. Yeah, there's no we. There's no, you didn't, Me? you don't share any reality. <laughs> My friend Paul Atreides <laughs> and Timothy Shamalama Ding Dong. I know both. And Johnny. Johnny's the best. God love you, Johnny. <laughs> I got a guy for you, Henry. This guy, this guy seems like up your alley. Okay. Y'all ready for like another that. daily sound effect? Here we go, another beatbox. <laughs> Did you record me having sex with my wife? <laughs> Hope you enjoyed. <laughs> you know, I do like him. He seems very yeah. sweet. I like him. He seems like your type of guy. Mouth beatboxing is an art form that has been lost. Is it? Oh. I feel like, have you not heard? Because we used to have famous guys. It's right? True. You remember the guy that was like, obviously, the voice guy the, with the famous police academy the voice human guy? Beatbox. What's his yeah. name? Michael uh, Winslow. Michael, Michael Winslow. Winslow. We had him, and God, then there was see him the live. fat boys yeah. with the. That's <laughs> the human beatbox. No yeah. one does that anymore. No one does that anymore. Oh, yeah, Biz Marquis. Yeah. You're right. Biz Marquis, but he's only. Yeah, he's dead. He's dead. He's dead. Yeah. Yeah. He's dead. So the, that's again. Who's next? Because these guys don't have real skills. Because you got what's this? That's a real skill. Who's name? Lil Peep? He's dead. Who's the other one? Lil Meep? Little, little reap. These guys, they got all these guys. No one's doing making there their own is noises like a anymore. whole beatbox TikTok thing going on. Yeah, yeah, but they all like have, but they don't. They're not on the Tonight Show. Yeah, no yeah. one's getting a paycheck off of beatboxing anymore. Yeah, they're not going yeah. out there and like you know. It used to be you could be in beatbox and you'd be next to Dr. Dre. You'd be next to nah, fucking Mr. Dre, his father. Dre never did beatbox. Mm -mm. No, but I'm saying the idea is like back in the day you would. It'd be nice now if we could have more. I feel like that's what the Butler Harry and Jihad should come in is during for music. We get back to real mouths making sounds. Do you remember having a Roni? What? Having a Roni, the Vanilla Ice beatbox. No. Oh yeah, no, it was very popular. It was like it's a, yeah, a couple of things. I can't do it. Having a Roni. What's having, having a Roni? Having a Roni? Yeah, it was part of Ice. Uh, Vanilla Ice's uh, big album.
It was so. Is that like, a song? Uh, 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 that was a part of it. Uh, 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 he did that. Uh, I don't yeah, play with my Adam's apple. Yeah, having a brownie. Uh, 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 Is that? Uh, uh, do you know that, Rob? Do you look up having a brownie? Having a Roni feels like it's you're blowing a, up your ass. It's very real. It is a song by Vanilla Ice. Okay. We've having a Roni. So sorry. So here's the lyrics. Oh yeah, what it's like having, having a, a Roni. Roni. What it's like having a Roni. What it's like having a Roni. What it's <laughs> like having a Roni. Oh yeah, yeah. VIP in for effect. Yeah. Having a Roni. <laughs> yeah. No, I don't really know what that means. They really what is Roni? Isn't Roni short for pepperoni? A macaroni, maybe. I think it's pepperoni. What does yeah. that mean? I think he's having, having a fucking. He's having a pepperoni, like you know. So sometimes you can have like just a stick of pepperoni, and it's really nice, and you just sort of eat on that stick of pepperoni. Sounds like you're sucking dick. <laughs> I think it's it looked an like orgasm. I was sucking dick, but no, yeah. I'm having Roni. a having a Roni. A Roni? We have a definition. Okay, here we go. In hip hop, Roni is a slang term for a sweet young girl. The term dates back to Tinder the 1980s Roni. when black teenagers began using it and gained renewed attention when Bobby Brown used it in his 1988 hit, Roni. Roni. In the song, guy. Brown describes a young, beautiful girl as only tender Ronies can give you special love. It's short for tender Roni. Tender Roni, which is uh, apparently a, underage a young mm -hmm. virgin. Yes. yes. Yeah. That's what th that's what so a lot of these guys seem to enjoy. They really seem and to enjoy And other musicians that. who have got used the term include Vanilla, Vanilla Ice, who said it in Get With It in the early 1990s. Don't chase a Roni because I know I can get him. I'm not the type, so I don't even sweat him. And I think that it's, yes, so he says he's not the type, so I don't sweat him. So it's uh, nice. Uh, he's uh, saying uh, that he doesn't uh, like uh, an uh, older uh, girl. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, but then he's also, but in He's offering a Ronies. Roni. He's human trafficking. Yeah. Uh, have a Roni means that is human trafficking. Yeah, have a Roni. Because it means here's the Roni you purchased. Yes. Buy a Roni. <laughs> if someone says buy a Roni, <laughs> know for a fact that's Italian human trafficking. Because yeah. it's not rigatoni. It's not macaroni. It's not pepperoni. Yeah. It's a tenderoni, Chef. which is an okay. underage girl. I just imagined it was vanilla ice in a parking lot eating a little stick of pepperoni. Nope. It's, a, it's vanilla it's ice worse. selling a little girl. To the, another man. I'm probably one of the fat boys. No! Oh. Do not, not besmirch the name the of the fucking like fat that. boys. Fat boys are back. And you know you can never look back. Because the fat boys are back. And you know they can never look back. <laughs> <laughs> Music used to be good, dude. Yeah, man. Music you know, <laughs> used to be good, dude. And all their songs sounded like that. They had another yeah. song called All You Can Eat. Oh, oh, you, you can, can eat. eat. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, oh, remember that. You, you can eat. eat. Yeah. Oh, you, you can, can eat. eat. Yeah, that was yeah. a good one, dude. Yeah, no, it was great. And, it was in, yeah, and it none was of it breaking. has to do with selling a little girl. Not at all, because they actually was. it was in the movie Breaking, and they went to the Sabaros in down in uh, Times Square, and they went to the All-You-Can-Eat buffet, and it was just them eating too much pizza until the manager chased them out of the place. So Music nice. used to be good. That's what it, That was good. That won a Pulitzer Prize. <laughs> do you no, guys it, know that? The Fat Boys won a Pulitzer Prize? No. It wasn't Breaking. It was Cush Groove. Cush, Cush Groove. Groove. Yeah, For that, movie. they won the Peabody Award <laughs> for journalism for how much food they can eat. Yeah. Do you know that that used to be a thing? America <laughs> used to be easier. Sorry, Zoomers. Man, remember Disorderlies? A movie taught me that I liked alfalfa sprouts. Really? Because, yeah, they, they were trying to get the fat boys to eat it so they can get thinner. <laughs> and he's like, I ain't eating that. And I was like, I'll try it. And I liked it. And wow. it, was like, it, was like, it was a great thing for me. That's such nice. A fat, <laughs> it's such a fat experiment <laughs> to see a food that looks gross and everything. Be like, oh, you go. Yeah, I can eat that. And then you eat it and go, oh, that's good. Like, yeah. that's such a fat challenge and a fat win. Yeah. Where you just go like, yeah. oh, new food I can eat. Yeah, yeah good work. But now and it's nice. Like, so I can eat a bunch of the leaves, and then I eat a bunch of the brown food <laughs> on top of the leaves, <laughs> which is how I work. Yeah, mm. I believe I can eat red meat. I'm eating red meat as long as I can eat salad. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Yeah, but this week good. I'm thin. This week you're thin until your mother gets here, and then that's all over. But I control my mother. Oh, <laughs> no, you don't. Speaking of your mother, <laughs> check out this video. Word to your mother. Oh man, she's got him. Yeah. I don't. I'm glad she you didn't send it. I'm so thankful you didn't send this to me. I can't have my algorithm go back. Yeah. I'm very thankful you said you didn't send this to me. I am sick of it. I have yeah. I have seen that one. It is hard because You've it seen is. That one? Yes, yeah. it is. I, I might be in my algorithm right now. Yeah. It might literally be there. I'm trying to get rid of them. I'm she trying to get rid of them. Horny to snorny. <laughs> I just the idea. I you know. Because I, I, I have to have peace with the fact that one day, 
we will be 70. Yeah. We, yeah. Will, we will like the look maybe. We, I feel like we'll find a 70-year-old big, a big of that woman. Yeah. I think we'll look at that woman and probably at some point there's a little thought he's like, yeah. <laughs> like there's going to be like a, a moment, right? Yeah. Like, uh-huh. There's got to be a moment where that switch is over. Because mm-hmm. you can't always be Right? What do you mean? Yeah, I mean it does. I mean it can switch over. Well, at some point, well, you're going to look at a seven-year-old yeah, woman in like lingerie, and you're going to like it. I mean, right? I like this now. Yeah. You like this? I mean, I'm not jerking off to it, but I I do find it very cool. So you just put this on your TV? I think she's yeah, I think she's great. I, mean, I love check. the Zap and Roger I'm going to show song. you. It doesn't make me hard. Yeah. I mean, we're all oh, yeah, good, good here. Uh, I got my new acid wash. Yeah, it doesn't make me hard. And I wish, I wish, honestly, the Instagram could see that because it doesn't make me hard. It's not working. It's not, you're not getting the traction that you want. You're not getting the engagement that you crave, Instagram. You got to change something else. Send me sneakers. That's what I've been saying. I'm trying to tell you. I think it's great art, though. Yeah, yeah I don't mind a woman expressing herself You've that way or anybody. A lot today. It's all seltzer. <laughs> <laughs> it's all seltzer. Yeah, I happen. might need to change. Only just because I don't care about burping because that's just how it is. It's called unnatural. Mm-hmm. But I wonder if it is all the seltzer. It has to be. And the talking fast. Yeah. Yeah. Can Swallowing not, too much trouble air. breathing? No. Good. I can breathe. Hmm. Another year of this show. <laughs> <laughs> Let's close this out with some frisbee According talk. to doctors, I have to to afford the insurance. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm John Brooks, known in the Frisbee world as Crazy John. Almost everyone has a (laughs) slightly different grip, but you must develop a method that provides a firm hold on the disc. How firm? Imagine you are holding a parakeet. Hold tightly enough to keep him from escaping, but not hard enough to kill him. (laughs) Let the bird go. Oh, it could be lots of fun. Why why demonstrate like that? You could use the fake bird. To throw a roller, you can start with either the sidearm or backhand, but you should have the disc hit the ground at least a third of the flight away from you and angled it, to the is ground. Is that a thing? What do you think he tells his parents as of he course, does? Of course, you're never absolutely <laughs> sure where it's I'm going. a human trafficker. That's the fun. <laughs> Anything. That's assault. That is assault. That's assault. Especially because he planned it. I don't care if it's frisbee uh, yeah. and it's fun. Life on the road with my partners, Joey Hudoklin and Chip Bell. We perform over 200 times a year at schools, professional sporting events, and rock concerts. Now he's illegally not going. He's legally not allowed oh, to go man, anywhere. I really <laughs> dig playing for the kids. It's awesome to see the look on their face when we put the spinning disc right on their hand. You look at my Bud Light shirt. You'll yeah. find that four out of five dentists <laughs> Whoa, that's cool. That is kind of cool. Toothbrush. That's cool. He does it on his chin. Is that on his chin? Yeah. Yeah. He in knows his mouth. maybe you could become the next world frisbee disc champion. So come on, let him fly. So he's the champion? He's well, he says he is. Yeah. I don't even know what he, he doesn't necessarily say what he's the champion of or what sort of competition well, he's uh he calls competing himself, in. Yeah. Yeah. Don't they have free fu- they have freestyle frisbee where they just throw it and catch it, right? As long as big as they can? Yeah. It's catch it as big as and long as they can. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? We came so close to finishing without losing our minds. You know what I mean? <laughs> this isn't just the boiled the juice video. talking. This is me asking about frisbees. The All cat, right, I am here video, asking about frisbees. The cat video did uh, scramble, <laughs> scramble something up. It oh, did you, scramble something up. You think it's cat? You think it did? I think it was maybe the cat video. It might have been. Might have been. It might have been the cat video. Who knows? Well, you know, I'm glad that we didn't cover all the stories of bestiality that were in the news this week on Side Story, so we, we made it as a win. We really did. We, we thought about it. We talked about them, and then, you know, we, we decided that's for us, and for you guys, you don't have to hear about it. I just read them. I'm going to read them aloud to Natalie tonight while we're in bed. Yeah. So, yes, there apparently there is long-distance Frisbee competitions. Yeah. Thank God. We throw it big and hard and long. Mm. <laughs> you know... <laughs> Good night, everybody. Yeah, good night. I, I was going to say something awful. We just got to end the show. We have to. <laughs> we got to. We have to end.
Thank <laughs> you. 